it's pretty loud in my room, but I am currently in Paris. Yesterday I had like the longest day. I stayed up till like more than 24 hours. Actually, let's go out here. It's like a little balcony. Look at that. Paris views. Paris views. So yesterday I had like the longest I guess day on the 8th I stayed up and I was packing everything because I had an early flight on the 9th which was yesterday so I kind of packed during the day and then I went to go do little things like I went to the what you saw to see the famous bridge and then I went to go get Schlotto and then actually I ran it into like my housemates that I met so i met one of them and then she met the other one so then we like re like sat and we chatted for like like an hour and then we walked around to go get gelato and like walk back so we we were like hanging out for a good time i think i didn't get back to the apartment till like midnight and then i was like there's no way i can sleep i have a flight at 6 a.m so i had to f basically figure out how to get to the airport but like you know before five or something right stayed up i kind of had to finish unpacking i showered and everything and then i was like kind of in and out like oh my god i'm so tired but i can't sleep so then it becomes four o'clock and i'm like okay i need to call a taxi and then i'm trying to call a taxi and nothing and they don't have ubers in florence so you kind of just have to like figure it out so nothing so i was like okay i cannot just like wait here so i was like wait what if i tr walk to the train station that's usually where you see taxis so i walked to the train station well there's like a line there's like at least like five of us waiting for a taxi and there was only one taxi that we saw in service and we were all panicking because actually the girls next to me i asked them like hey are y'all going to the airport here i'm like they're like yeah i'm like if we can like take the same taxi let me know she's like yeah we can do it but we're all panicking because we had a six o'clock flight mine was at 6 50. So this time i was actually messaging luigi because he had um I think it was his day off. I'm like, can you see if you can see anything on your side? Because I can't see anything. And then I found out, he's like, yeah, you can take actually this little like metro train and it's go straight to the airport. It's called the T2 line. And I was like, oh my God. And at this point it was already going to be five. And I was panicking because boarding time was at 6.20 and I still had to check in, got my bags, go through like TSA. So I was freaking out. As soon as he tells me that, I see the train and it just left. So I had to wait like another like 15 minutes into the second one. By the time I got to the airport, it was like 5.40 and like I said, 6.20 I was boarding. So the good thing about this in this morning, it wasn't that busy to like, you know, check in everything. So I was able to check in my bags within like five to 10 minutes. TSA was like five minutes. And then it still hadn't give us the gate for where our flight was. I literally made it like five minutes before they finally let us know and I was like one of the first people um waiting by the gate yeah I was able to get in got checked out boarded and we actually boarded way before because our flight left at 6 50 um but we boarded by like 6 40 and then I don't know what happened but we were ended up being delayed for like 30 minutes I and I was like knocking out and then the guy next to me knocked out so I was just like I didn't know we were so delayed I I'm always scared like the initial takeoff like that is the worst for me but so like I was kind of panicking but I was like I'm just gonna sleep through it and I did and like I said luckily like the the person next to me he looked so comfortable I'm like I'm gonna knock out so I guess I like went in and out of sleep on the flight next like, so, you know we landed and the flight was only like an hour and like 50 minutes so i got here like at nine something gotta get my bags had to get the train my check-in was until three so i went out did little things and then i basically stayed up the whole day yesterday <laughs> doing things and i was like girl this is not it so now i am here it's the next day i go do some things so i'm gonna go to you know my favorite boulanger the land of monkeys so i'm gonna go there i'm gonna go to the one close to uh it's called amsterdam that's the location so i'm gonna go to that one and then go to museum of rodent and it was recommended that one so i'm gonna go there and then i want to go have dinner at this place called fresh noodles <sighs> it's been really craving like a nice spa and it's been kind of cloudy sunny here today so that's kind of my plan we'll see where it goes this is my OTD. It's very colorful. Yeah, I'm wearing a blazer because 
actually it is kind of blazer weather here now in Paris I see a lot of people wearing jackets and stuff because I feel like it's been raining the past couple days but I'm wearing basically all jerf this isn't jerf but they have like an exact style of this one so I feel like all jerf but my jerf tube top my jerf breezy shorts soka tigers green socks let's get going just wanted to tell you my crazy hectic day yesterday Le train de 10h03 ne partira pas sans toi C'est la dernière fois que je te dis ça Le train de 10h03 ne partira pas sans toi C'est tant mieux pour moi et tant pis pour toi Tu pleures, tu tergiverses Cherchant des prétextes Même si tu résistes Notre amour finira à Gare d'Austerlitz Ne fais pas cette tête Valise est prête, rend les choses faciles et sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile. Le train de 10 h 3 ne partira pas sans toi. C'est la dernière fois que je te dis ça. Le train de 10 h 3 ne partira pas sans toi. C'est tant mieux pour moi et tant pis pour toi. J'ai rangé tes affaires, la photo de ta mère. Mais j'ai gardé pour moi La télé en couleur Et le châssis à moi Enfin je vais pouvoir Rentrer tous les soirs Et me coucher plus tôt Sans risquer de t'avoir Toujours sur le dos le train. It is Sunday It's currently like my second to last day I have a full day tomorrow And then I leave on Tuesday Actually today is Sunday So that means flea market sunday there's a couple that i want to hit there's one that's not too far from me i'm staying in the 10th which is close to the 18th and so there's one in the 18th but there's also one in the 12th and i am going to be going to the 12th later i'm going to meet a subscriber for brunch which i'm so excited about so i'm thinking of going to the 18th and then maybe with her we can go to the one at the 12th well, so I'm gonna try to go make it right now. It's currently 9.32, so I'm meeting her for brunch at 11.45, so hopefully that's enough time to go to the fleet market. Um, I do have to go get some cash. Quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing a vest, but I put my jacket over it for now. I have like a little hoodie, high-waisted Donnie shorts that I love. All black today. This black and my Ahsoka Tigers. I left my video uploading the internet is so slow here so it's taking like hours for my video to upload Upload, and hopefully when I get back it's fully uploaded because today is my uploading day. I stayed up yesterday editing. So I just went to the bank and now I'm walking back to the flea market, which is not that far. Yeah, because the bank was at another stop, so I stopped like a stop later. And now I'm walking back, but it's there, I see it. I'm excited. I'm 
sûr, l'amour ça pue, ça court les rues. Donnez-moi la vie. Hey. Sorry, I look a little crazy. Um, it's currently midnight. My flight leaves in about uh, eight hours. Still have to kind of finish small, a uh, little bit of unpacking. And uh, this is it. I'm going back to LA after being over here for about two months and a half. I composed myself because I was just crying. Oh. I will go in depth about everything, my whole experience and all of that. It's just like right now I just feel so emotional and like uh, grateful and I can't believe like this experience for me has ended but it has also like provided so much insight for me and so much growth and uh it's a very bittersweet feeling to be feeling and and i wanted to show that uh emotion with you because uh that's what i'm currently doing <laughs> dealing with oh i'm so excited to see everything I'm so excited to see my partner I'm so excited for my dogs I'm so excited for a lot of things going back home but it's also so hard to leave a place where you just felt so much connection with as well so yeah okay see you in LA <laughs> Luigi. Oh my god, this is not real. Louis, it's you. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this intimate, very special summer with me. I love you all.